We're back here to the Neil Haley Show on the Total Celebrity segment. I'm excited to welcome from NBC's The Blacklist, Harry Lennox and Laura Sohn. Guys, thanks for stopping by. How are you? Great, Neil. Great to be back with you. Absolutely. So let's go, Harry. Where do you see your character going now without, you know, giving things away, especially where are we leaving off? Because, you know, of all the people that do the binge watching, they decide different things without giving things away. I really like to get into characters more than, you know, the whole storyline. But where is your character now and where do you see it going? Well, you know, my character is trying his best. Harold Cooper is doing his level best, really, to uh, keep his compartments in order. You know, uh, that's one of the great things about leadership. One of the qualities is that you can compartmentalize. So while he's being blackmailed for reasons that he doesn't know, he still has to run this task force. And uh, he has to, as much as possible, keep those two things separate. One would impede uh, the other if they encroach on, on, on either one. So that's, uh, that's where he is. Uh, that's also happens to be where I am as the actor playing Cooper. Uh, I don't know who's behind it, but I sure am intrigued by uh, figuring out who that is. I, I hope by the end of the season. You hope by the end of the season and then the different things. And what do your fans say? What do they think of you as a character? Like when you see in different social media or different you know, conversations that you have with your fans? You know, it's interesting. I think that the fans really look at, at uh, Cooper as the closest perspective to their own. I think that Cooper really is the fan base, that is the audience of the show. He's having to filter through, uh, you know, the information that Red gives him or whatever leads we happen to get. Uh, I think that as he's figuring it out, so do they. So do they. You know, it's, it's, it's sort of the opposite of... Uh, uh, one of the things I loved about that show Columbo with the great Peter Falk is that the audience knew something that he did not know, and then he figured it out. What they didn't know is how he figured it out. And so I, I figured that, you know, that's a kind of way of putting the focus, the perspective in the hands of a character. And I think really Cooper is, is, is that. So that's why I think the fans uh, uh, have come to trust him. Trust him, even though we know that who knows in this type of a show what could happen next and that's for sure and laura can you tell us a little about your character and then where do you think it's developing yeah um i think this season we're gonna get to see like the personal life um and have her be a more prominent character in that you understand her humanity um and it it's been really fun to just play with the different character dynamics that's been blossoming. Um, and yeah. Now, what about your experience? I know as much playing, as you know. By playing as much of the character, your character. Tell me a little bit about explaining more of that development and how you prepared for this character. Yeah, I think going in, I, I honestly had no idea where the taking her so it's been really to play off their um their writing and figuring out um where she fits in this puzzle piece um and i i was just very excited to just go head on and just make some choices and be bold and i think they've kind of taken that and run with it as well yeah absolutely <laughs> And Harry, being on the blacklist for so many years, you got to be excited about being renewed for the 10th season, right? You just heard that, just saw that come up in the news. That's got to make you guys smile when you got that, got that word, wasn't it? Well, I'm, I'm uh, yeah, I was grinning from ear to ear. I woke up with that news uh, this morning. I guess Spader announced it, uh, or we'll be announcing it uh, soon. <laughs> I don't know when it all drops. But, you know, it's nobody. It's not news now, but uh, on The Tonight Show, he mentioned it. So I didn't see that till this morning. And, uh, and of course, I'm grateful probably more than, than anything uh, for a number of reasons. One, that we keep, that we continue to uh, get a chance to tell the story I, I'm, that I'm intrigued by. Um, even every case is interesting. You know, I think it could be very topical. You know, these are things that we're dealing with in the new world. Some of the cybersecurity threats, for example, that are possible in 2022 was not possible when we started the show back in 2013. You know, so it's it's evolving, the story's evolving, 
uh, and, and uh, the fact that we can keep going uh, is very gratifying. And seeing that technology, that's an interesting thing you talked about, the technology and how it's changed in 10 years uh, from the show and what now criminal, criminals can do, right? It's scary, isn't it? It's scary in our everyday life, isn't it? For both of you, can you answer that question about cybersecurity and how to stay secure in this environment, especially because we're online so much more than we were 10 years ago, but absolutely after COVID, during COVID, how we have become more and more online beings. Anyone now? I'm gonna let you. I'm yeah. gonna let, let you go with that. It's yeah. your character is uh, <laughs> technologically uh, advanced. Yeah. Um, no, it's been really interesting just reading the script as well and seeing the blacklisters cases just um, unravel the new world that we are living in um, and what kind of circumstances that we can be placed in. Um, it, they're real, and I think that's what makes the audiences come back. It's that. There is a uh, a chance that these circumstances exist, and sometimes they do. So it's it's fun getting behind that and figuring out crime together and solving crime together with this cast. Absolutely, that that that's the that's the fun thing, and you definitely, uh, Harry, consider this a family, don't you? Being part of the blacklist for so many years and working with them the cast you work with and stuff feels family like to go to work for so many years doing this it's got to be great unquestionably it does feel like the family you know uh it's rare as i said that, that you get this kind of uh, length of time with with a company of uh, not just cast but the crew you know some of these people have been with us from season one and uh and to get to know them and to you know people have had children people have you know, they got married. People have done all kinds of life is being lived uh, in real time while we're telling, you know, a parallel fictional tale. Uh, real things are happening. And uh, even getting through the, the pandemic with these people, you know, adversity makes us stronger. And, and I think it, it strengthens the ties that bind. And that's what it's been like on, on this uh, on this journey. Absolutely. Laura, what would you want to tell your fans so far about like why everyone should tune into the blacklist this Friday uh, night uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern? Um, it's going to be exciting. Um, we have some familiar faces coming back. And I think, like always, um, it'll be an enjoyable experience just to watch together and uncover all the secrets. All right. Harry, you give us the pitch to your fans. What do you want to tell your fans and why they should tune in Friday? Well, uh, I think that you should, my fans should still, you know, still look at what we have that is novel, that is, uh, that is new, how this show uh, continues to grow, continues to change. And for my money, it's the greatest show on television. So uh, if you want more of that, you come on back. We'll be waiting for you. All right. And best place to follow you guys on social media, Laura, where can we connect with you on social media for your fans and stuff? What's the best place? Um, it's going to be Instagram, just Laura Stella Stone. All right. Harry, are you on uh, social media where people can connect with you? Yes. Uh, you know, at, at Harry Lennox uh, and, um, and Harry Lennox .com, Harry Lennox .org. Yep. So you can find out things uh, that I'm involved with. Uh, you know, right there. All right. So everyone needs to tune in Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern on NBC to the Blacklist. Guys, thanks for staying, stopping by and take care. Thanks, Neil. All right. You're listening and watching the Neil Haley Show. And we'll be back in just a moment.